friends welcome to my youtube channel friends today we will discuss the topic how to upgrade windows 7 to windows 10 friends as you know windows 10 is uh, windows 10 is the support period is ended and no windows mm, uh, 10 is is in uh, progress windows uh, 7 uh, will be the uh, support period will be out in 13th of April 2020. Friends, uh, uh, as you know, Microsoft has entered the support, uh, support of uh, Windows 7 like upgrade and its patches and window and other uh, upgradation which are uh, which are comes from Windows uh, uh, Microsoft website. As you know, uh, uh, when Windows uh, 7 upgrade uh, upgradation is in uh, stopped, no Microsoft, uh, no Microsoft has, uh, uh, Microsoft has created a tool uh, which we which we can upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10. To upgrade the Windows uh, uh, 7, first of all, we have to check its properties, uh, the version of Windows, and whether it is licensed or not. Uh, also, check about its activation. Uh, as you know, Windows is activated, and its product ID, and uh, how to check genuine Microsoft is also there. These are the basic requirements which we have checked before we upgrade Windows 7 to Windows 10. Uh, friends, uh, as uh, this is the uh, latest version of Windows 7 and Service Pack 1 installed on this and we also have to check its uh, system resources like its processor, its RAM and its system type uh, before upgrading uh, the Windows. Uh, friends, uh, these are the uh, initial requirement which we need to fulfill before upgrading the any operating system. One thing uh, remember that if we have installed 64 bit operating system, then it uh, will be upgraded to 64 bit architecture. And if we have 32 bit operating system installed on our system, then it will be upgraded to 32 bit uh, uh, architecture. It is not uh, possible that a 32 bit will be upgraded to 64 bit and 64 bit will be upgraded to 32 bit to upgrade the windows first of all we have to go to the uh, open any browser like chrome or uh, firefox or anything and then uh, uh, type here download windows 10 iso as mm, as you know uh, we will download uh, windows 10 disk image iso from microsoft uh, website may microsoft website or open create windows 10 installation media then click uh, download tool now download the tool is uh, completed now we will keep click on media creation tools and it, it will ask from us to whether uh, yes or no we click on yes and it's getting a few things ready it will check the feasibility of the old system like windows 7 it's gathering information about windows 7 its architecture its system resources and software installed and apps and software installed on it it this tool will take some time for ready and uh, after uh, when it completed then it uh, there is applicable notes and license term as you know Microsoft software license terms are screen or uh, comes and first we have to accept this mm, Microsoft uh, license term then we will go to uh, next uh, screen And uh, these are the some mm, basic uh, requirement from Microsoft uh, Microsoft uh, to proceed uh, the uh, upgradation. 
as uh, this uh, we click on accept then it will also take some time getting a few things ready actually these are uh, the gathering information of our already installed environment it will take uh, some time as it's uh, it will be ready and then we no friends uh, it is ready here the here are two options what to do uh, what we want to do upgrade this pc now or create installation media usb drive we will upgrade this pc we will click on upgrade this pc uh, windows 10 download uh, install download uh, the iso file is in progress friends uh, here are two options for us uh, we can also download the complete windows 10 and install a fresh copy but uh, in this condition we have to we have to give the key of windows 10 but if we upgrade the windows licensed windows uh, 7 then we do don't have to give windows the licensed key as we are upgrading windows 7 to windows 10 in uh, free mode But if we give ISO install download complete Windows 10 uh, and uh, install as fresh, then we have to uh, give license key. It will ask uh, from us about some settings, and we have to accept these conditions. Now these are uh, ready to install. Install Windows 10 Pro, and second option is. Uh, keep in the uh, personal files and apps change what to key if we want to change the setting then we click on it friends here are uh, three options which we are mm, yeah, seeing first one is keep personal files and app it means mm, the personal files which are created uh, for document like desktop document and other files and my office files the document files and our application installed in Windows 10 will be safe and uh, uh, we don't have to again install these apps or files our data will be secure and this is the most secure option while upgradation uh, from Windows 7 to Windows 10 but uh, keep in mind one thing that we have to take backup of uh, our important document before upgradation because mm, during upgrade uh, during upgradation in case of any mm, error or in case of any mis mishap our uh, data will be uh, lost to avoid this mm, we have to take backup important backup mm, then there are uh, uh, some other options uh, uh, there are uh, some other option uh, keep personal files keep personal uh, files only if we select this option then we have to uh, uh, retain only our data but we have our, but our apps will not be stored and we have to install applications uh, after when we install this windows and uh, third one option is uh, nothing it means everything will be deleted including files apps and setting it means give the uh, our important data our important files and our applications and our uh, settings which we have done in windows 7 will not be saved and it will be lost when we upgrade windows uh, when we upgrade windows from windows 7 to windows 10 so uh, this is the uh, uh, main thing that uh, what uh, we want to do we have to be very careful uh, in this task this is the most important task uh, in upgradation from windows 7 to windows 10 because uh, in case of uh, small mistake our data uh, can be lost and this is the uh, and will be irrecoverable so we uh, we make sure the this uh, step and uh, 
after that our uh, windows upgrade upgradation is in progress so it will take some time and no our windows are upgraded from windows uh, 7 to windows 10 now we will uh, make login and uh, we will also choose privacy settings for your device here are some options when we install windows 10 we off these options like location services diagnostic data online speech recognition and other options we will uh, off these toggle to off these option and then accept now friends this is the desktop of windows 10 windows 10 are installed on our systems and uh, now we have to some basic settings to make it according to our uh, requirement as we want to do as you know here are uh, uh, when you click on windows icon then settings and then display then about friends here you will see the windows 10 pro and when we when windows security windows operation then it's uh, activation we can also see activation here windows is activated with digital license it's, it's already li licensed we do not have to activate again So, friends, if we if fresh install the uh, Windows, then we have to uh, activate our Windows, and uh, we have also purchased to licensed key. So, uh, at this point, our Windows are upgraded uh, successfully to Windows 10. We can also change the theme, change the wallpaper of our desktop. this is the to make it beautiful we can change settings to display setting personalize here are some options we can also make folders refresh so we can sort icon and here are the option we can view our icon small large and and medium and we can show our desktop and friends our apps and our all uh, applications and our data are uh, the same as we have uh, upgraded we have uh, before upgradation our our application our important data and our settings are uh, save friends for my for more good, good informative videos please like subscribe my channel so you can receive my information uh, my informative videos in future or uh, bye